So yesterday I got a very exciting package in the mail. I've been eyeing this release. So I picked up two of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Glide Face Arc Attack Highlighters. That's a bit of a mouthful, but I wanted to give you guys a review, a few comparisons. And the reason I think that I was so excited for this highlighter is because a couple years ago for the holiday season, Charlotte Tilbury launched this $60 highlight that I said you should never spend $60 on, but it ended up becoming like my all-time favorite highlighter ever. So <laughs> I was hoping that this was going to be kind of like this formula I wanted to see. And also I was on a little bit of a high because Rare Beauty launched highlighters just a couple of weeks ago and I was shocked at how beautiful they were. I thought at this point no highlighter was going to excite me because it's all been done before and Rare Beauty proved me wrong. So I was excited to play with these. I did wear them yesterday, so I do have some experience. But let's get into the details of these. They are available right now. Every shade is in stock on the Charlotte Tilbury website. If you've never ordered from the website, I do have a discount code that I will post down below. It's only for first time use for the email order, uh, but maybe if you wanna create a new account, you can do that as well if you wanna save some money because these are quite pricey. I also see that they are available at Sephora right now as well. And they have quite a big shade range for this being highlighters. There are, it looks like seven different shades and I think the range looks quite nice. I picked up only two of the shades and I love both of the shades. And this is $48. That's kind of insane for a highlight. I'm gonna start off now by saying, if you are tight for cash, $48, don't ever spend that on a single highlighter. That's crazy but I'm crazy, so I had to pick them up because even though $48 is a lot, I spent $60 from Charlotte Tilbury on a highlighter and I have not been disappointed. So first, let's take a look at the box that these come in. Comes in a beautiful gold box and it says it's supposed to give glowing, lifted, younger looking skin and it gives some examples of where you can apply the product. And then here is the back as well if you would like to take a look. It even suggests you can use a wet brush to intensify if you wish. The product itself is made in Italy and has a 24 month shelf life. Now each of them are going to come in this packaging right here. I saw a couple of you say you didn't like the designs on here, it looked a little juvenile. I do agree because I mean look how much more luxe this one looks. So yeah, I don't love the little stars but whatever, it is it is what it is, what can I do? And then you can see there's 0.24 ounces of product if you wanted to take a look. Now what's interesting as I look at the website right now, it says this is supposed to combine the rich pigment of a pressed powder but it's supposed to have the skin gliding satin texture of a liquid highlighter. So these are very clearly inspired by her liquid highlighters that just did so well. So here are the two shades I picked up. The first one, this is the lighter one, Champagne Glow. Let me turn the lights down. So here's Champagne Glow, and you can see that there's stars in here. This one obviously is gonna be more champagne, but I could not help it. I had to pick up Pillow Talk Glow as well. So this one is a little bit more pinky. Let me show you them next to each other. So here they are next to each other. You can see the difference. I'm very happy, by the way, with the shades that I picked up. So if you have a similar skin tone as mine, definitely recommend these colors. One thing to note is these are removable. There is a little pinhole in the back, but it's not very steady in the pan. And I don't like that for luxury packaging for $48. I think that's kind of crazy that that's the case. But anyways, I look at this. Wicka, 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 wicka. Okay. So here is Champagne Glow. And this is what it looks like on my hand. You can see it has quite a bit of coverage. And it has a thicker feel to it, but still very smooth. And then let's get into Pillow Talk Glow right here. Oh, it looks so smooth, you guys. So take a look at that. You can see they're very different colors from one another. So let's go ahead and apply these. So we're gonna go ahead and do a champagne glow on this side of my face. I'm using a BK Beauty 112 brush. I'm just gonna get a few taps in. A Little bit of kickback, but nothing crazy. We're just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna do like a little mini C. 
and that's how that's looking. So you can see I do have some texture, but I feel like the formula of this doesn't emphasize texture in any way that is unflattering. It's just kind of there, but it blends in seamlessly with the skin, and you really can't tell where the start point and stop point is with this, so it really gives that glow from within look. It's not pretty. I'm gonna do another layer so you can see that the product does build up if you would like it to, to get a really hefty glow if you would like. So that's what that one looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit on the center of my eyelid, just like that to lift a little bit. I'm gonna take a pencil brush now. I'm just gonna put it right in the inner corner of my eye, underneath the brow bone, tip of the nose, can put it right here to get a greasy chin look, which is cute, but that is Champagne Glow. So this one is gonna be very flattering for a lot of different skin tones. It's kind of a classic color. And then let's go in with Pillow Talk Glow over here. So this one's a little bit more pinky, but for my skin tone, this almost blends in perfectly. It's not too bright, so I don't get a cast with this, but once it's on the cheekbone, it blends in perfectly just because of the level of depth is very similar to my skin tone. So this one is an extra natural highlight on me. It doesn't scream pink. It doesn't scream pillow talk, but it does have a pinky undertone to it. So you can see the difference between the colors for review's sake to make it even. Let's build this one up. I love the Pillow Talk Glow on my skin tone. I think it's gonna look beautiful for medium skin tones as well. Something about it just looks so natural, especially with a pinky blush. It's gonna blend in beautifully. So this one is the classic champagne glow and it's definitely more champagne, more gold, whereas this one has almost more coolness to it. Let's go ahead and put this on the inner corner. Brow bone. You can see it's just not as bright. I just think that looks so good though. So this one is my favorite of the two colors that I picked up. And overall, my takeaway with the formula of these is this is a very nice, high quality formula. I think it's gonna be very flattering for more mature skin. You know, it's not going to, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna emphasize texture. It is a highlight that is the nature of it but it's one of those highlights where it doesn't look as crazy as some other highlights. So if you have more mature skin and you're looking for a highlight, if you use a little bit of this, I think this is going to be beautiful on your skin. It doesn't make the skin look dry at all. It's a gorgeous glow from within highlight that can be built up. So I did wanna to compare to a couple of different formulas. The first one is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the one that came out in the holiday season a couple years ago. It has like a pinky gold kind of color to it. I just wanna see how different do the formulas feel. So they are different formulas. The older Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm gonna call it the Hollywood one. This one is a little bit more thick and powdery, whereas the Face Architects have more smoothness to them for sure. Let's see. The color of it is kind of similar to Pillow Talk. It's a little bit more gold. It's almost like these two had a baby and created this one. The Hollywood one, I feel like also has a little bit less of a gleam to it, so it is a bit more natural as well. But what I also wanted to compare to was the new Rare Beauty highlights as well. We'll start off with the shade Exhilarate from Rare Beauty, which I'm gonna compare right next to Champagne Glow. Now the Rare Beauty, I believe, is only $25, so there is a big price point difference. That is something that should not be taken out of the equation, but I'm using my pointer finger over the Rare Beauty, which has more of a lightweight, slick feel to it. And then we'll do the Charlotte Tilbury, which has a little bit more thick powderiness to it. And here's how they both look on my finger next to one another. The Rare Beauty one is just a little bit brighter, but you can see the Charlotte Tilbury gives more coverage. I'm gonna put the Rare Beauty one right on top here, and immediately you can see that the Rare Beauty one has a little bit more glow to it, and it's a bit brighter, but you can see the opacity from the Charlotte Tilbury is just thicker, more coverage. 
Next into Pillow Talk Low versus the shade Mesmerize. Mesmerize is getting the pointer finger, middle finger for Charlotte Tilbury. Here's how they look on the finger. You can see the Rare Beauty just looks a little brighter. Then here's the swatch. The Rare Beauty is brighter, a little lighter, and same thing where the Charlotte Tilbury just has more coverage. I did do a side-by-side -side comparison on TikTok last night, so if you want to see that video, just go to Morgan Turner Makeup on TikTok or Instagram. I'm going to put the footage, though, right here sliding in so that you can see the difference between the Rare Beauty side and the Charlotte Tilbury. The difference between them, one, besides the price point, right, $25 versus almost $50, that's a very big difference, is that the Rare Beauty has a little bit more of a lighter feel, and then the Charlotte Tilbury is more of a creamy powder feel. So the Rare Beauty, it also doesn't have as much coverage, but the difference is it's a lot more glowy. Like right away, as soon as the Rare Beauty hit my cheek, it was like, bang. Now you can get a more natural glow with the Rare Beauty. You just have to be more mindful. Just with the nature of the product, you're going to get more of a glow from within look with the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like the Rare Beauty is better for younger skin and there's no limitations by the way but I do get this question asked a lot. The Rare Beauty is probably more geared towards younger skin. That is the demographic of the brand after all and Charlotte Tilbury's formula is definitely going to be more flattering for more mature skin and you can still get a heavy glow with the Charlotte Tilbury but it's just going to be easier because the Rare Beauty has a little bit more of the glowiness to it. It's going to be a little quicker to emphasize any fine lines or anything like that. And it really just depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you like the more glowy glam look, Rare Beauty is awesome, but Charlotte Tilbury gives that glow from within look. And also, I think the Charlotte Tilbury just looks a little bit more sophisticated and elegant on the cheek, and I kind of prefer that. It looks like it costs a little more than the Rare Beauty, but I love both. The Rare Beauty is definitely going to be my monthly favorites because this is the first highlight to knock my socks off in years, I feel like. But Charlotte Tilbury has also launched an amazing highlighter. The only thing is, I do think it's a bit ridiculous to pay $48 for a highlight. But if you're not concerned about that, the quality of it is really nice. And if you liked what you saw, go ahead and pick it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I gave you all that you needed to know about the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. Let me know if you pick them up down below. How are they working out for you? And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.